slow night. Oh, I spoke too soon. Better check it out. I'll circle around back. How'd I get so lucky? Bounty hunters know headhunting is illegal in the city. You had the right to remain silent. You had the right to an attorney.
bad dreams, Stanton? No worse than usual. Find a rise and shine, old timer. What? Already? What time is it? April. A hundred and forty dreams and not a wet one in the bunch. You're getting too old, buddy. If I was a wet dream at your age, you'd probably short out that ticker of yours anyhow. Yeah, but what a way to go, huh? <laughs> All right, boys, up and at them. You've been gold bricking long enough. I see eight months in high, but did wonders for that bear. Buddy, you're liable to take your whole damn head off. <laughs> Thirty years in the court, it looks like the only scars I'm gonna take back are gonna be from shaving. Well, at least I won't have to put up with this shit much longer. Decided to grow a beard? Decided to retire. That's right, 30 years is more than enough, I think. You're serious about this? <laughs> I've never been more serious. I'm getting too old to waste half my life asleep. Good luck, buddy. And look now, just because I ain't going to be around, don't think I ain't going to be checking on you. I want reports from you in person every Thanksgiving and Christmas. You're going to make your famous turkey stuffing? Absolutely. Oh, forget it. So what's the difference between a poor up girl and a bowling ball? I don't want to know. If you really had to, you could eat a bowling ball. <laughs> hey, don't worry. It's dead. <laughs> I thought the whole point of this mission was to dump this stuff in space, not feed it to the crew. It's a bad round, boy. Our food not good enough for you? Mm -hmm. What, you want good chow, Stanton? Should have stayed with the Special Rangers. Transfer to disposal fleet, you uh, take your chances. You know the first thing I'm going to do when I get off this tub? I'm going to find me some place that's never heard of dehydrated, frozen, or reprocessed food. And I'm going to eat until I'm just a side of beef. Like Drezak over here. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the first thing you're going to do when you get back, Lobo? I am going to take another shot at the Academy. Oh, good, good. You keep at it. You make it. Hell, they took Stanton, didn't they? <laughs> There's no guarantees they'll be that desperate again. Oh, please. Getting you the Academy is all politics. Everyone knows that. Are you saying that, Captain, because uh, they turned down your application? Oh, look at it this way. Some were born to greatness and some to garbage. <laughs> you know something, Tubbs? It's really a shame that you're not as ambitious as you are funny. Then maybe you could have done better for your family than just send them a sergeant's pay for the past 20 years. You better watch it, Tubbs. The guy may be a real pisser, but he's still the captain, and he could make life pretty tough for you around here. No, let him growl all he wants. I've been waiting two years to tell that washout what I thought of him, and now's my chance. Why's that? Because I'm retiring. Ah, oh, bullshit. You're not leaving the corp after 28 years. 30. And at the end of this trip, me and my 30 are calling it quits. Well, congratulations, <laughs> you old fart. 
<laughs> yeah, and now, here, you know, it falls upon you, a senior female crew member, to give me the customary retirement spanking. Now, you won't give it to me now, you won't give it to me later. Oh, Tubbs, you are a filthy bastard to the end, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Look now, um, like I just told Stan, everybody's invited to my home for Thanksgiving dinner, all right? You're not going to make that mush you call stuffing, are you? Hey, hey, don't talk about the stuffing. Bridge to Stanton, Bridge. Stanton here. What is it, Arius? Stanton, could you come up here, please? There's some trouble I can't quite figure out. Have you notified the captain? Yes, he told me to get you to handle it. On my way. Some trouble a wonder kid can't handle, huh? Sounds serious. Yeah, probably nothing. What's this? That's what I'd like to know. It's all I can get. Have you done a systems check? The only thing that told me is that the problem is not originating on the bridge. And that's not all. We've also lost contact with Earth. Well, how's that possible? Sorry. Well, if the problem is not in the breeze, then it must be someplace else. Call the rest of the crew, have them do a thorough inspection of their stations. And meanwhile, keep trying to raise Earth. Right away, sir. sure about this? We've run the check four times. So how did this happen? Apparently the ship had some kind of accident while we're in hypersleep. We think there may have been radiation burnout from some of the undisposed waste. But we can't be sure yet. All right, so just how far off course are we? With the computers malfunctioning, it's hard to say. We can't even be sure the hyper units woke us up when they were supposed to. So, so in other words, what, what you're saying is we have no idea just how far behind schedule we are. I've ordered reports from all sections within 30 minutes. Make it 20. Attention crew. The captain has ordered a meeting for the mess hall in 20 minutes. I'd recommend being on time. Engine room, the bridge. Bridge, Stanton here. I think we've got a problem here. What's up? According to my fuel estimates, we're way below where we should be. Well, I wouldn't put too much stock in the computers right now. The system looks like it may have been crashed pretty good. More than likely, it's just a malfunction. I'll see you in the mess. Yeah. Hope you're right. down to it. Where's Tubbs? Stanton, did you inform Tubbs of our little get-together? Yes, sir. Well, then where is he? He said something about checking out a problem down the engine room. Well, he better get his butt down here quick. 
Bill Lobos, navigational report, please. Navigations and communications are still completely out. Not only that, but half the systems on the ship are down, too. Keep looking into it. Arius, how does all of this tie into our fuel ratio? If we rethink our consumption rate, we should be able to arrive back on Earth with no more than a 67-day delay. Two months. Terrific. Do we have any theories as to what caused this malfunction in the first place? From what we can gather, this kind of massive short-circuiting can usually be attributed to a leak of some kind. And with all the hazardous materials Wait stored on the ship... Drezak, making sure all the waste is properly stored is your responsibility. Don't blame this on me. I made sure everything was sealed the way it was supposed to be before. Well, it wasn't any of our fault. The important thing is that we're going home. We're just a little behind schedule. No. No, we're not. What are you talking about? I am talking about the fuel. It's down 73%. Well, that's impossible. We should have over 53%. I've got it right here. I crawled all over those tanks so I could check them manually. It's just like I thought. We are out of gas. Accepting that what Tub says is accurate. Project a return time to Earth. At present speed, insufficient amount of fuel for return voyage. You mean we're not going to get back to Earth? Uh, she's just saying that at present speed we'll run out of fuel. Arius, how much will we need to slow down in order to make it back? We'll have to travel at 1% our normal speed. One one hundredth? Well, what does that translate into in years? Twenty-two years, nine months, eighteen days. What, are you crazy or something? We can't survive out here for twenty-two years? It may be possible to modify the hybrid units to accommodate us for a longer period of time. No. Nobody's going to put me to sleep for two decades. I'd rather die first. Well, what about a rescue? I mean, after the report is overdue, they're bound to come looking for us. Yes. Do you think the company's going to spend a half a billion dollars to pick us up? All right, that's enough. Now, I learned a long time ago that the first rule of life is to survive. Now, you've got brains. Use them. Because the moment we stop thinking, we're dead. yourself. I've got a good look at him outside. He's a Dalai series. The worst.
You know, the company would pay a lot of money for the ranger's head. But it's not worth dying for. So let me tell you what. You give me a ten minute head start, and you can have him. Your clock's running. Congratulations, I think you just about captured the mood of the room. I guess I can't blame them. 22 years in space is a long time. Longer for some. Stanton! What's up? You got the memory back online? Not yet, but look at this. I don't understand. It's a projected timetable for a return voyage home. It just says the trip back will take 31 months? That's right. Does this mean the previous computations weren't accurate? Not exactly. You see, this proposed voyage is for the shuttlecraft. The shuttlecraft? Wait, wait, wait. What are we even talking about? There's no way the shuttle can make it all the way back to Earth. Well, not in its present form, sir, no. But if you'll notice the uh, modifications that I've made here. What kind of modifications? Well, things like adding additional fuel tanks and equipping it with a hyper unit. Since it cannot carry enough food, you'll have to sleep most of the way. What do you think, Stanton? Will it work? Well. Yeah. Yeah, it can work. I can get started on these fuel tanks right away. Well, I can program an automatic flight plan with the shuttle's dry system. Good. Arius, get back to the bridge. Try to figure out the optimum time to launch a shuttle so I can rendezvous with Earth's orbit. Now, we don't have a lot of fuel. We have enough for one try. So we better guess right. I don't believe it. We're all going home. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There's something you should all know before we get started. Well, my calculations were based on the assumption that it would be carrying only one person. One? If the shuttlecraft only has a single passenger, the odds for a successful return are 74%. With two people, the odds drop to 39%, an unacceptable risk. And, of course, with more people, the odds just get worse. Well, it's either that or a 22-year sleep. Not necessarily. If I can pilot the ship back to Earth in only three years. Why should you be the one to go? Because I'm the captain. I'm the logical choice. The captain is responsible for the lives of his crew. Huh! What about the captain going down with his ship? Look, if anyone's going to go, logically it should be me. Then why you? Because I'm the best pilot here. Hey, it's going to be on automatic pilot. Whoever's inside is going to be asleep on us all the way. Yes, that's right. Oh, and I suppose that you think you're the natural one to go. I didn't say that. I don't care what you said. I got as much right to go as anybody here. All right, easy, Drezak. I am still the captain, and what I say, go. Yeah? Bullshit. I'm not about to let anybody pull rank at me. Screw up my chances, get back to Earth. You know something? You are coming pretty close to mutiny, mister. Yeah? And what's the penalty for that? Life in the brig or being stuck up here? What's the difference? Hold it! I know you all want to go, but the simple reality is that it just... So, how do we choose? Now, I, I don't like this. 
scared, Captain. We're all scared. Wait, wait, but we wait, have to... scared? Who, who's scared? I just don't like the idea of risking my life on a child's game. Well, then let's play Russian roulette. It's kind of hard to object with a bullet in your head. Now, we all voted. It was us four against you and Drezek. Now, we still have to prepare the shuttle for launch, and we're cutting it pretty close as it is. So if we don't decide this right now, it may not make any difference one way or the other. Why do you hold the straws? I'll gladly change places with you, Drezak. But remember, the guy who holds the straws, draws last. No thanks. So, who wants to go first? I will. Now remember, long straw wins. You said it was a short one. Now if it was a short straw, some dishonest person might be inclined to break their straw. Get it all figured out, don't you? <clears throat> I'll go now. Just you left, buddy. Congratulations, buddy. First time I've ever won anything. Luck of the draw, Captain. Would you like to draw up the work list for the shuttle modifications, or should I? I get it now. You planned this from the beginning. You wanted your retiring buddy to win. What? What, you thought you could just slip it by me? Well, I'm on to you. And let me tell you something. Nobody cheats me! Yes, I'm here. I asked you if the navigational computer was hooked up. Uh, check. Life support? Check, that's it. How are things going? Fine, she's all ready. What about the automatic navigational controls? For all the good it'll do him. We should be sending a real pilot. He'll be fine. Hyper unit? Drazek finished hooking it up this morning. Good. What's the ETA to launch? 27 hours, 9 minutes. Okay, we're all set. I'll go tell Tubbs. 
I still say we should send a real pilot. Come. Hey, Tubbs, you lucky scumbag. Now, all these years you've been letting me beat you at poker have just been to set me up for something like this, right? Hey, what's this? Two months of this, you'd have me domesticated. Look, if there's anything around here you want, you know, just take it. Oh, yeah? How about this? Just kidding. You know, you're lucky the captain didn't find out about this. You'd have busted a gut if you knew you had firearms on a non-combat ship. How much do you want for this little bastard? Oh, shit. <laughs> you sure you want him? <laughs> Where the hell do you keep something like this? It's not even regulation. <laughs> when you start caring about regulations, I keep him because he's nasty like me. See, women, women think you're more dangerous when you own something like that. Now listen, we fed all the info the company's likely to need into the shuttle's onboard computer. And all you have to do is to get back alive and deliver it. You find out what's wrong with the computer yet? Nope. Shit. What the hell is going on around here? Look, I better stick around at least until you get the ship squared away. Nah. This old tub's just temperamental. A little bit like another old tub I know. Besides, if we don't launch a shuttle right on time, there's no guarantee you'll even get back. Stanton, have you thought about how the rest of the crew is taking this? What's to think about? We're stuck up here and that's that. No, oh, it may be that cut and dry for you. You're a ranger. You were trained to think clearly in situations like this. They weren't. Desperate people can sometimes be dangerous. I left the rangers, remember? Yeah. Why? Now, I know it's an unwritten law you're never supposed to ask a ranger about his past and all that, but I'm old and I'm curious and I want to know. Well, you ain't never going to tell me, are you? You know, someday you're going to have to face up to whatever it is you're running away from up here. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Haul garbage until your pension rolls around? You did. What about Peggy? I seem to remember some serious talk about marriage. Yeah, we did. We decided it wouldn't work having a husband a billion miles away half the time. We managed. I guess that's why we stuck together so long. Yeah, but women like yours are hard to come by. Oh, you got that right. But still, if a younger man wanted a second chance to go back, change his life, Get married, settle down, have some kids. Take on some responsibility. Then an older, more mature man who's already tasted most of what life has to offer might just trade places with him.
Compared to that, 22 years of sleep doesn't sound too bad. And besides, it's no big mystery. I left the core because I wanted a little peace. Shit. Is there something I can help you with? I wanted to talk to you in private. Yeah, well. Well, you better make it fast, because I got a lot of stuff to do before I leave tomorrow. But that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Nice blade. Yeah. You know, Tubbs, in all the time that we've been together, we never really got to know one another. I mean, not really. I've been kind of disappointed in that myself. It's not too late to do something about that, is it? What you have in mind. Maybe we could come to some kind of understanding. You know, the shuttle could take two people. And if you took me, I'd make sure you always remembered me. Oh, I'll always remember you. Every time I think something. Dear Peggy, sorry I haven't written in some time, but sorry about a lot of things. Time just has a way of slipping away from us. I don't know if you'll even get this message, but if you do, 
I just wanted you to know. What are you doing away from your station? I asked you a question, mister. All right, get back to your post. I'll deal with you later. I said now! I'm trying to steal the shuttle. Is that true, Drezak? What are you talking about? I just came down to recheck the hybrid units. He's lying. We checked the hybrid units this afternoon. They were fine, remember? Yeah, I don't have to answer you. Why don't you ask him what he was doing here? You do not question me! You came down here to steal the shuttle. What do you think you need drugs to give you the gut? Knock that off, Trezak. You're still part of this crew. Yeah. One big happy family, right? Is that why you changed the shuttle code, huh? He did it to protect me. He reprogrammed it so that only I could use it. He was afraid some gutless sack of shit might try and steal it. The shit's in the chuck. <laughs> <laughs> You ever try stuff like that again, Drezak? I'll stir your ass into solitary so long you'll drown in your own shit! I'll see you around, brother.
Now we all took our chances, and Tubbs won. So you better get used to the idea. Drown in your own shit. Tubbs, I... Tubbs, it's me. Listen. I've come to make you another offer. I never told anybody this, but I used to do some flying with an outfit that raided mineral planets. I've saved up quite a bankroll. It's yours if you take me with you. Tubbs! About what? He was going to take me with them. Why would he do that? With you along, he wouldn't even have half the chance. I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. You're lying! <laughs> Tom said no and you killed him! No! He was already dead when I got here! Right, come on, what's all... <gasps> oh my God. Apparently the hiker got free something. He was murdered! No! It wasn't me, Stanton! Murdered, eh? Well, then just who do you think did it? It's no trick to pick that lock. And Lord knows there's a motive. It could have been any one of us. Yeah, right. Could have been any one of us. Come on, there's no proof. I say it was an accident. Keeping that stupid thing with him anyway. Huh? What I want to know is who's going to take his place. By all rights, it should be me. Well, it doesn't matter who we choose. Because Stanton can leave any time he wants to. What are you talking about? Think about it. Who programmed the shuttle computer? Mm. Tubbs didn't know enough about computers. You had to help him, didn't you? Tubbs was the only one that had the entry code to open those doors. And now that he's dead, nobody gets in. Come on. Do you expect us to believe that you didn't program in an override code just in case? It really is the perfect plan, isn't it? I mean, who would suspect his best friend? And while we're all just standing around and accusing each other, you just quietly just slip away. <laughs> One more step, and this shuttle is history. Stanton! Bella Lovis is building up the pressure to an overload. What? She's going to blow up this shuttle! Pull it right there! 
What are you doing? If that thing blows, you could take out two decks. That's the idea. Now I want that access code! Get away. Shut up another step! I am serious! Either you tell me what that code is, or we all cash it in right here! The shuttle won't even be in proper launch position for another six hours. You might miss Earth completely. I am a good pilot. I will take my chances. Look, we can get through this. We just have to work together. We don't have time to work together! What do you mean by that? I mean that I did some checking on the computers. And I found out at the rate the damage is spreading, this ship won't even last two years! You know the computers are malfunctioning. We don't even know that what they're saying is exact. Fine! Then you stay here. And you take your chances. As for me, I am giving you to the count of three. One! What did you do that for? Didn't you see I was... She was gonna release the shuttle. She had the right idea, though. Survival of the fittest. Now give me the card. Our Lobos here will have some company. Starting with her. All right. Yeah, I made this up just in case. Now get over there. Get over there or I'll blow the little girl's brains out. you go.
I just ran. Have you seen the other members of the crew? No, sir. Oh, I'll tell you, I was afraid of this. They've gone into hiding. It's going to be every man for himself now. Every man for himself? Think about it. The shuttle only carries one person, which means who's ever going to go is going to have to eliminate the other three first. But I got a better idea. Why don't we work together? If anyone can get into that shuttle, it's you. And you said you could carry two people. I'm willing to take a chance, if you are. I don't think so. Shh. I just heard something. What were you running from? The captain. Why? He tried to kill me. Back in the mess hall. I had to stab him. Is he dead? I think so. Well, that fight might well be in store for us all anyway. Not necessarily. There may be a way to use the bridge computer to override the shuttle. How? First, let's make a pact. If we're successful, we both go. Do you? Even if I have to blow the doors of the shuttle with dynamite, we both go. And we've got to get to the control room. That way's sealed. We'll have to cut our way through the mess. We could take the long way around. No, the mess hall is fine. Where did you say you was? Right. It was right there. I was sure of it. You cut him, all right. Just not enough to kill him. We'd better get to the bridge. How long will it be before we know if your plan works? Hard to say. I'm going to try and create an overload program. If I can, once we insert it into the shuttle's computer, it will cause a power surge that will wipe out its memory. After that, we can program in our own code. Damn, must be a short circuit. Let me know if you get anything. Anything? Nothing. How about now? Aris? What, well, um, sorry. No good. I'd feel better if I knew where the Captain and Dresik were. Yeah, me too. Nobody ever warned me that being a garbage man would be so dangerous. Don't you ever get scared? Being through worse? When you were with the Rangers. I never heard of anyone transferring out of there before. It's getting too risky. I wanted something dull and safe. <laughs> Made a great choice, huh? You don't strike me as the 
kind of man who frightens easily. What finally got to you? Androids. What's wrong with androids? I worked with some. They seem pleasant enough. Mill, well, these androids were definitely not pleasant. They were used for illegal bounty hunting. They were stronger than me, faster, and programmed to be extra nasty. I came close to buying it at the hands of an android once. My partner wasn't so lucky. I'm sure there was nothing you could have done. Your job was to eliminate them. Wouldn't you expect any intelligent creature to do all that it could to survive? Intelligence? Oh yeah, they had intelligence. They were still just machines. I mean, they have no compassion, no soul. There's something very wrong about giving the power of life and death to something like that. <sighs> Try it again. Nothing. We could be losing power at the relay station. Arius, I think we've got something. I think your plan's working. Glad to hear it. Just take it easy. He was waiting for me at the relay station. I knew if I told you too long enough, you were going to find a way to get into the shuttle. Now let's just do everything real simple here. You give me that program, and I'll give you areas. You know, you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble. If you'd only bothered to get the entry code from Tubbs before you killed him. Oh, so you figured it out, huh? Nothing to it. You know, after I stopped to think, I realized it couldn't have been Arius. She's far too human to think of killing someone just to save her own skin. And letting a hiker loose in Tubbs' cabin? Not Drezak style. Only a real coward could come up with a plan like that. I am not the person you want to make out of right now! What happened? What? Maybe you did your handiwork a little too well. Fix it! Fix it! Are you all right? The program. Will it work? There's only one way to find out. Stand back.
do it, Stanton. Because I'm not going to stop until I get on the shuttle. Why is surviving so important to a machine? Survival is all that matters. A lesson that everyone is kind enough to teach me, including you. First we're in life! Remember? You told me! Not when you have to murder to do it! Ah! Humans prey on weaker species. Why is survival so important to you? You died a long time ago, man! You and I are kind of the same. You remind me of me. Except, it's not death you fear. Hello, Tubbs. 
Um, I wanted to make you this tape because I know you have a long journey home and I thought it would keep you company. I also wanted to thank you for not telling anyone about me. I was always afraid if they knew, they might treat me differently. And don't worry about Stanton, I'll take care of him now. I, I know you think I love him. <laughs> Maybe I do. It's hard for me to know what love is. And it's frightening to think he might love me back. Listen to me, confused and insecure. I sound almost human, don't I? <laughs> well, I hope you're finding the Hydro unit comfortable. And there's some books that I've placed on the shelf over there.